Welcome to another episode of Operations Management. In this episode, we are going to look at a number of issues like capacity planning and forecasting. Forecasting demand is an important aspect of any operation. Forecasts drive so much of the business. We start with forecasting our sales. Based upon the forecast for sales, we have an idea of what our revenue is going to be. Then we can have an idea of how much we can spend on marketing. Forecasting how much we have to make will forecast our costs. Might determine whether we have to borrow money. Might determine whether we have to hire people, fire people, lay people off. There is so much that's driven by forecasting. If you ever take the course business simulation seminar, you'll see what a huge impact getting the forecast right uh, can make. Second of all, capacity requirements. How much capacity should we make? You might not think about, but even restaurants have to worry about capacity. How many tables do I have? How many, how many people can I seat? How many people, how many people can come through at night and have dinner? How big is my kitchen? How many meals can I make? How fast can I make my meals? If I'm making a sports stadium, how many restrooms do I need? What's the capacity? How many men versus women's restrooms? So these things are very important. Another capacity one would be like a uh, telephone company. I don't always build for the largest possible capacity. If everybody in the United States wanted to make a phone call at the same time, we couldn't do it because the cost of building that would be capacity would be so huge, astronomical for a phone company. Telephone companies plan on how much they're going to need. Interesting anecdote, the busiest telephone calling day of the year, might not be a surprise, is Mother's Day. Do you know the second busiest calling day of the year? Most people making phone calls. Well, I'll let you pause and think about it. But the answer is the first snow day after school begins. Everybody gets on the phone to figure out, what do I do with my kids? Where do I go? Or is the school delayed? Do I have to call work now and, and come late to work? Do I find somebody else to take my kids? When do I pick them up? That's the second largest capacity day. So capacity is an important aspect of, of business planning. Take a look at this. Think about how you would forecast the demand for electric cars. Well, you might look at past years and forecast based upon the growth rate that you're seeing. Smartphones. Well, how many people have smartphones? What percent of the population has a phone? What percent doesn't? What percent of the population has technology that's two years old or three years old? And try and estimate from that. How many snow plows are needed in Branchburg? Well, I don't know. How long does it take to clean a road? How many roads are there? How many people do we have? This next one is kind of fun. 12-year-old Scotch whiskey. Think about that. The whiskey that is being made now will not get sold for 12 years. That's nuts. You have to forecast 12 years in the head of the demand for your product. People may not even want it then. Most recently, Maker's Mark whiskey forecasted too low. They ended up having to dilute their whiskey to have enough. And people got very upset. So forecasting is very important and capacity planning is huge. Now, production. We can talk about procurement. This, is, this whole area is just a growing area in terms of supply chain management. How do we get the supplies we need, the parts we need? How do we get them just in time? How do we manage inventory? Those sorts of things. We will talk more about this in the next lecture.